Hey, what's up, YouTube? All right, today we'll be looking at DB for free, which is simply database databases for free. Okay, what is it and why do you need it? All right, first of all, if you're doing any form of programming and coding and you are building some application that needs a backend and it needs specifically a database like a MySQL database, but guess what? Maybe you're strapped for cash or you don't want to go the way of paying for a um for a for a server hosting. What this does for you, what these persons do is they simply allow you to use their database for free. And that's a MySQL database. That's a MySQL 5.7 and you get you get as well a PHP my admin login, a PHP my admin login. And it's pretty it's pretty um simple to sign up and I'm not a spokesperson for them. I do not get paid whatsoever but i had a problem recently where i needed a database and i was out there googling searching for database because if you try to google and search for um my um my sql database or databases or just database what you're going to find a lot of the times is you're going to be finding to run your MySQL database on your local computer. And some persons, that's not an option. You don't really want that. You want to ro run your database remotely and connect to it so that you know if your, for instance, if your application is connecting correctly or anything like that. And it's very difficult to find somewhere that gives you this thing for free. Most of the, the free options that I found are mostly concerned about hosting and chances are for your application all you simply need is a mysql database that's all you want and you want something with a decent um interface like php admin but you won't get that if you are just going to one of the free hosting options so anyways all you simply do here is you just simply read and then you click on create um account for free and I think it, I already created my account. So when you go here, you see by registering, um, it's free for testing and production and whatnot. If you decide to use your database for free in production, despite the warnings, do it at your own risk. Because guess what? It is slow as hell. Do not put stuff here that you will probably need permanently it's just for testing purposes as the the, the creators of this database say it's just for test, testing purposes or to just to to troubleshoot or that kind of thing or just to just just for practice if you're someone who is new to MySQL, this is a good thing to use to practice with and if you want you can always donate to them you can even delete your account you can change your password if you think it's been compromised you can even switch languages if english for instance isn't your first um language and that kind of thing so remember it's for testing and not for hosting because it's really really slow but if you're connecting to it from your application i can tell you it will not be slow it's only slow when you're trying to access it in case you're trying to host something that is a primary importance and they warn that your database can be deleted from time to time they reserve the right to delete your database or account without any notice but this is what you get when it's free but guess what it is free and it is a free alternative that i am introducing you to as well anyways i've already logged into mine and i'm just i just have some test data here I have comics and movies and stuff like that look at this when I click on movies it has a certain kind of lag to it you wouldn't get this if for instance you were using a paid option which is a paid hosting option with um, 
with your not only hosting but your database as well uh, but this is good and useful for as I said before testing purposes and for all of you guys out there looking say where do I I don't want to run a MySQL database locally on my machine it maybe your machine is slow or you already have too many things installed or better yet you want to just connect to it remotely without having to install MySQL on your computer this is the alternative it's a little bit slow if you're trying to access it but if you're hooking up your application your app whatever you're hooking up to it it will run a lot smoother but look at the hang time here this is not that your 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 your, your video hasn't stopped or anything this is the hang time you have to deal with sometimes because as i said maybe there are many persons all over the world using it and this is why sometimes it can be a little bit laggy but so far all you simply they do is no run around you sign up you give them your password they give you your mysql database they let you only name one because mysql data, database you won't be having two databases on their 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 their, their back end you only get to add one and that's pretty much how it works and guys i just have to introduce you guys to it because I've been searching and if you Google you will find yourself signing up for everything you find yourself signing up for some stuff that just don't work and they give you hosting and if hosting is not your thing and you just want a database look it just came up if you only want a database this is if not your only option this is your best option if you know of any other databases that are free that users can use, uh, which is MySQL databases for free or on the cheap, you can leave it in the comment section. I'm pretty sure somebody will benefit from that information. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe if you like. And that's been my effort at sharing this information. I don't get paid by these guys. I wish I would. But they're free, so they couldn't pay. Anyway, and you can contribute to them using Bitcoins. Alright, thanks for watching, guys.